titanium similar to this that sword was forged out and in order to do that since you cannot weld this in the blacksmith shop or use any kind of other fasting techniques what I did was using clay I'll show you the technique of what I worked out is by working down one side and drawing it out square and it's a lot smaller than what the sword is and turning around and doing the same thing on the other side you can see how this draws out and the clay works just like the titanium or any other hot metal but this will show you a lot faster and I'm using half face blows to leave that thick part on the bottom and overlapping blows I'm squaring it up as I go. I'm trying to keep both sides the same length about. And you can see how long this takes to do this in the clay. You can imagine reheating the very hard titanium and working this over and over again. So this is about what I was working with. I then took the one side and heated it up and twisted it to the right and took the other side and twisted it the opposite direction and then heating it up in here, folding it back on itself like this and then drawing this tight together in the center and drawing out the point You can see I have more material in the clay than I did in the titanium. Then, with these two pieces side by side, start drawing out the actual shape of the sword itself. And this is what, this is what kind of made the blood gutter going down the middle of the sword. at the top, these very ends were drawn out round, clay's kind of sticking on the anvil, after that was rounded up, the shield was put over top of it, and then the, the, the shaping of this was done. And of course, I've already got the heads forged into it too. And then kind of opened up to give that shape. And by clamping this in the vise and pushing down the tools into here, this would lock that guard in place then. So that's how that came about.